Good day everyone! I am Rana Jun Tapasha from ECE 201 and today I am going to explain to you the topics about infinite series, matrices, and determinants by giving you an example for each topic. For our first topic, we have the infinite series. We are given with the example, write the first five terms and the n plus first term of the series whose n term is negative 1 raised to n minus 1 times 5 raised to n plus 1. Also, write the infinite series. So, solving that example, given that u sub n is equal to negative 1 raised to n minus 1 times 5 raised to n plus 1, we are asked to look for the first five terms. So, let n is equal to 1. u sub 1 is equal to negative 1 raised to 1 minus 1 times 5 raised to 1 plus 1. Is equal to negative 1 raised to 0 is 1 times 5 squared is equal to 25. Therefore, 1 times 25 is 25. Let n is equal to 2. We have negative 1 raised to 2 minus 1 times 5 raised to 2 plus 1. We have negative 1 raised to 1 is negative 1 times 5 raised to 3 is 125. Therefore, we have negative 1 times 125 is negative 125. Let n is equal to 3, we have negative 1 raised to 3 minus 1 times 5 raised to 3 plus 1 is equal to negative 1 squared is 1 times 5 raised to 4 is 625. Therefore, 1 times 625 is 625. Let n is equal to 4, we have u sub 4 is equal to negative 1 raised to 4 minus 1 times 5 raised to 4 plus 1, which is equal to negative 1 raised to 3, which is negative 1, times 5 raised to 5, which is 3,125. Multiplying them, we have negative 3,125. Let n is equal to 5, we have u sub 5 equal to negative 1 raised to 5 minus 1 times 5 raised to 5 plus 1. Solving them, we have 1 times 15,625. Therefore, our answer is 15,625. Last, at u sub n plus 1, we have negative 1 raised to n plus 1 minus 1 times 5 raised to n plus 1 plus 1. Solving this, we have negative 1 raised to n times 5 raised to n plus 2. Therefore, our final answer is, for the first term, we have 25. Second term, negative 125. Third term, 625. Fourth term, negative 3,125. Fifth term, we have 15,625. And for the n plus first term, we have negative 1 raised to n times 5 raised to n plus 2. And the infinite series is 25 plus negative 125 plus 625 and so on. And this is an example on how you solve an infinite series. Another way of solving an infinite series is by using your calculator. So first, input the u sub n value, which is negative 1 raised to x minus 1 times 5 raised to x plus 1. And we are asked to look for the first five terms. So press calc and substitute x as 1. We have 25. Press calc again and substitute 2, we have negative 125. For 3, we have 625. For 4, we have negative 3,125. And for the fifth term, we have 15,625. And for the n plus first term, we need to solve it manually. And for the second topic, we have matrices. The given example is evaluate 2a minus 3b where matrix A is composed of 3, 1, 1, 2, 1, 0, and 1, 4, 3. And matrix B is composed of 2, 1, 2, 1, negative 2, 0, and 1, 0, 3. For the solution, we are going to multiply 2 to the matrix A, 3, 1, 1, 2, 1, 0, and 1, 4, 3, minus 3, multiply the matrix B, 2, 1, 2, 1, negative 2, 0, and 1, 0, 3. So multiplying 2 to the matrix A, we have
For the next term, we are going to multiply 3 to the matrix B. And then we are going to combine them. So for the first row, first column, we have 6 minus 6. For the first row, second column, we have 2 minus 3. And for the first row, third column is 2 minus 6. For the second row, we have 4 minus 3. 2 minus negative 6 is 2 plus 6. And 0 minus 0 is 0. And for the third row, we have 2 minus 3. 8 minus 0 is 8. And 6 minus 9. So simplifying this, we have 6 minus 6 is 0, 2 minus 3 is negative 1, 2 minus 6 is negative 4, 4 minus 3 is 1, 2 plus 6 is 8, and 0. And for the third row, we have 2 minus 3 is negative 1, and then 8 and last is 6 minus 9 is negative 3. Therefore, this is the answer for evaluating 2a minus 3b. And this is how you solve a matrix. Using your calculator, we can also solve matrix. So press mode, 6 for matrix, and 1. And then choose the dimension. In our case, it is 3 by 3. So press 1. And then input the values. We have here 3, 1, 1, 2, 1, 0, and 1, 4, 3. And then press AC, shift, matrix, and 1. And then choose matrix B, so press 2. Choose the dimension. In our case, we have 3 by 3, so press 1. And then input the values. 2, 1, 2, 1, negative 2, 0, and 1, 0, 3. Press AC, shift, matrix, and press 3 for matrix A. We are asked to evaluate matrix 2A minus 3B. So we are going to multiply 2 to matrix A minus 3 times shift 4, 4 for matrix B. So 3 times matrix B, press equals, and we come up with the answer 0, negative 1, negative 4, 1, 8, 0, and negative 1, 8, and negative 3, which is similar to our answer when we solve this matrix manually. And for the third topic, we have determinants. So we are asked to evaluate the determinant 6, 5, 0, negative 2, 3, 1, and 1, 4, 3. In solving a determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix, we have a formula. So the first thing we need to do is identify the number in the first row, first column. In this case, it is the A sub 1, 1. And then we need to cover the rows and columns it covers. And then multiplying this number to the numbers left, we have A sub 1, 1 times A sub 2, 2, A sub 2, 3, A sub 3, 2, A sub 3, 3. Minus, next thing we need to do is to look at the First row, second column. In this case, it is the A sub 1, 2. And covering the rows and columns it covers, we are left with A sub 2, 1, A sub 2, 3, A sub 3, 1, and A sub 3, 3. And for the last term, is plus. For the third term, we have to look at the first row, third column. In this case, the A sub 1, 3. And covering the rows and columns it covers, we are left with A sub 2, 1, A sub 2, 2, a sub 3, 1, and A sub 3, 2. And this is the formula on solving a determinant with a 3 by 3 matrix. Going back to the example, we are asked to identify the determinant of this 3 by 3 matrix. So applying the formula as discussed earlier, the first thing we need to do is to look at the number in the first row, first column. So in this case, we have the number 6. And covering the rows and columns it covers, we are left with 3, 1, 4, and 3 minus the number in the first row, second column. In this case, we have the 5. 
and covering the rows and columns it covers, we are left with negative 2, 1, 1, 3. Plus the number in the first row, third column, which is 0. And covering the rows and columns it covers, we have negative 2, 3, 1, and 4. The next thing we need to do is to solve individual determinants. So we have here 6 times, in solving a determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix, all we need to do is to multiply the number on top to its diagonal bottom. So we have here 3 times 3 minus the other diagonal 1 times 4 minus 5 times we have here negative 2 times 3 minus 1 times 1 plus 0 times negative 2 times 4 minus 3 times 1. Simplifying, we have 6 times 9 minus 4 minus 5 times negative 6 minus 1 plus 0. Simplifying once more, we have 6 times 9 minus 4 is 5 minus 5 times negative 6 minus 1 is negative 7. Therefore, we have 30 minus negative 35 is plus 35. Therefore, our final answer is 65. And this is how you solve a determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix. And with our given example for determinants, we can also solve it using our calculator. So press mode 6 for matrix and choose 1 for matrix A. So determine the dimension of our determinant. In our example, we have a 3 by 3, so press 1. And then input the values. We have 6, 5, 0, negative 2, 3, 1, and 1. 4, 3. And then press AC, shift, matrix, and press 7 for determinants. So let's input matrix A there. So press shift, matrix, and press 3 for matrix A. And press equals. So our answer is 65, which is similar to what we have solved. To wrap things up, let us recap to the topics that I have mentioned. We have infinite series. A sequence of numbers in which an infinite number of terms are added successfully in a given pattern. We have matrix, which is a rectangular array consisting of elements written in rows and columns, usually enclosed by a bracket. If it has m rows and n columns, it is an m by n matrix. A matrix is also denoted by a single capital letter. And from the previous example, we have this type of matrix, which is a square matrix. It is a matrix in which the number of rows equals the number of columns. And last, we have the determinants, a number associated with square matrix. Determinants are also useful for solving linear equations, capturing how linear transformation changes volume or area, and changing variables in integrals. Furthermore, we can view determinant as a function whose input is a square matrix and whose output is a number. Thank you for watching and I hope that this video helped you somehow to understand more about the infinite series, matrices, and determinants. Thank you again and God bless us all. Bye!